Yeah, so uh, it's been a, been a good summer of work. It's been an important summer of work for our guys. And, you know, I would say that everybody on the roster showed real consistency and a dedication to want to improve. And that carried on throughout the summer. And hopefully the, the habits and the gains that we've made in the summer will, will carry into the, the preseason this season. Well, what about this? Uh, he likes the versatility of the team, the players' competition, the exposition. That should get him your goal when you put the roster. Sure. Yeah. I think you know this this season, especially. I think we'll, we'll see more competition for for minutes and playing time than we've seen in our, our prior two seasons. So that's exciting for us. That I think that speaks to again how we're building the team and the way we want to build it, and, and that versatility piece is important for competition internally, but then also once we start playing games to, uh, to show different lines. It's still my question, but uh, specifically for you, is this the best roster that you've been struck with since you've been here? Well, I hope so, yeah. You know, again, it's it's part of a fluid process, but we feel good about the team and we like the direction we're heading in. And you know, we certainly, uh, you know, have the guys on the team for a reason because we feel like all of them do a little bit something different and they combine all that. I think uh, has to make us to be a pretty good team. For those of us who are familiar with Kevin for his two years in Denver, is there anything in particular that stood out then? Is there, has there been anything you've learned about him since the trade? Yeah, so, you know, Evan is someone that, that we've been watching for a while, uh, dating back to his time in France. You know, a lot of things about him that, that we like. I, I think the, the biggest thing is just the efficiency and the consistency that he plays with. Um, doesn't really try to do things that are that are out of his uh, skill set. He plays within himself, and I think he does a good job of letting the game the and just reading and reacting to what's presented to him. So, a lot of how he looks at the game is processing the game, I would say, what the treat does. Well, you look at how the summer league went. What were your takeaways on Alfred and Harry? Yeah, so, you know, the summer league is a great. Um, learning tool for, for a lot of young players, and I think that Alfred and Aaron in particular had a chance to, to learn firsthand about just the nuances of the NBA game, the speed of the NBA game, and, and I think if you ask both of them, they'd be able to tell you some things that they took away toward that end. I think that there's no replication or true simulation for NBA training camp or the preseason or the season until you're actually there, so I think they'll, uh, they'll pick up a few more things coming weeks, but overall I would say that their competitiveness, um, their commitment to want to play both ends of the floor at a high level is something we saw in summer league and something that we hope will carry over to their years. Well, we've talked about what constitutes success and how you define it. How would you like to be judged? Yeah, good question, Larry. So, you know, I think it's important for us this year to show growth, to show progress, and we'll be able to measure growth in a lot of ways. Obviously, wins is one way. There'll be some other ways that we look at players uh, individually. How are they? How are they improving in certain metrics? We'll look at the team. How are we improving in certain metrics? How are our efficiency improving on both ends of the floor? Things like that. So the hope is to be able to, to take a look back when the season begins and throughout the season, and then at the end of the season, look back and say, okay, we feel good about, or do we feel good about the progress we made? Do we feel good about where we're at in relation to the plan? Uh, and the hope is by by season's end, we can all look at the team and say, yeah, we are, we are making good strides. Rob, you spend all summer putting this on paper. Is this an anticipated time for you? For you? This is this is an exciting time. You know, this is a time where uh, you have the first chance to, to see the team and, and see how the pieces fit, and see the competitive element of the training camp. So the staff is excited. I think the guys are excited. So uh, we're ready to get started. Uh, John was just joking. The first two, three, four drills yeah, absolutely. You know, we're we're committed to, to being a defensive minded team and we feel like uh, over the long haul that's a sustainable element for our team, a critical one. So I think we'll start to see as we start to establish this identity on the floor that we want to be about. Uh, it'll it'll start with defense and we'll expect our guys to, to be committed to that end of the floor at all times. This is the first year that you guys have Erie as, as a resource um, for, for helping young players out there not having a lot of time. Have you formulated how you guys are going to use that, use that resource yet or how exactly? Uh, a little bit. You know, I think the, um, the fact that we have Erie as a platform to, to develop our players, or staff, or what have you is, is an exciting thing for us. We don't know quite yet how it will be used in terms of assignments and, and 
allocated guys. I think play that by the we did this. And certainly to have that resource at our disposal. Yeah, it's very important. You know, as I said all along, it, it's an important season for our team to show growth. It's an important season for our players individually to show growth. And um, you know, we, we believe in our guys. We believe that, that they're in uh, a place in this environment where they can succeed. And we hope that you know, they're going to have successful success. Rob, with the fans, you've used the word patience in the past. Where where are you on that now? Yeah, you know, I think patience is a it's an important word. I think as we continue to, to build the team, it's, it's important for us to again keep the vision, the long term vision in place as as we go through. Uh, we have to show improvement. We expect to show improvement this season. Um, our fans have been incredibly supportive to that end. We also understand that that they want to see progress, and we understand that. So I think patience and staying the course, staying disciplined. It's still very much how we have to look at things. At the same time, though, we do, we do understand. Hey, we're back. Well, we've seen in the past, you know, the team the playoffs with the losing records. If you guys were to sneak in with that 18, would that be considered a success, or is it more about breaking the wins and more losses? I don't really understand the question. If you guys were able to get that 18 and have a losing record, yeah. would that still be considered a successful, successful season, even if you guys have that Sure, I think any time you make the playoffs, it's a successful season. Everyone good? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, just his work ethic. You know, Ben's a gym rat. He's in here every night, uh, basically until midnight, getting shots up. And so I think his his desire to um, to be in the gym and to continuing to try to hone his craft is something that we want to be about, it's something we want our players to see and our players to be about. So I think the one thing that really sticks out about Ben this summer has been just how much time he's, he's put in and spent working on this game. Is everybody available to practice tomorrow? Yes, everybody is healthy and ready to go. Everyone good? All right, thank you. All right, thank you guys.